today I'm going to be doing a small batch of strawberry and raspberry jam just to show you how easy it is to make it's all you need is four ingredients hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be making strawberry and raspberry jam if you remember my other video I showed you when we went to the farm to pick our own berries we picked a lot of berries but today I'm going to be making a jam with just strawberry and raspberry it is so easy anybody can do it you, all you need is four ingredients so easy even the Jays did uh, uh, did theirs by themselves put a, a link to the video of our strawberry picking down here so if you're interested you can click on those videos and while you're there click the subscribe button Oh, I'll be judging you <laughs> if you have not still subscribed. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that red button. You know you want to, you know you want. All right, let's get into it. One kilogram of strawberry, half a kilogram of raspberry because raspberry is quite tart, so you don't want to put too much. I love the tartness of in my jam, but I don't want it to be excessive. Then I'll put half a lemon and half a cup of sugar. My sugar is just granulated white sugar, you can see. And it's fine, you can use it. But a lot of people I know use jam sugar. And they use that because jam sugar has high pectin content. Pectin is what makes the jam to set. And some fruits don't have high pectin, like strawberries don't really have high, high pectin. So it finds it difficult to set. So people like to use, especially with strawberry jam, or they use um, the jam sugar but my J's don't really like a very thick jam they like their jam runny almost like a syrup like consistency a bit runny so they can use it for ice cream topping or they can use it for their pancakes and things like that so because of that I don't like to put the I don't use any special pectin or use any jam sugar I just use the normal sugar and with this sugar I don't like to put a lot of it so I'm just gonna use half a cup most recipes you see online will tell you to put two cups for the same amount of fruits I'm using but I'm using half a cup that's why I like homemade things because you can control the narrative you can control what goes in your recipe you can control what goes into your children's stomach if I bought a jam from the shop it will have a high amount very high amount of sugar you'll be surprised so why would I want to do my homemade one and put a lot of sugar to what's the difference then I could have as well save my time and buy it from the shop So I'll just use a little amount of sugar because we still like to get the tartness of the fruits and Taste the real sugar in the fruit. We don't want to overload it with artificial and natural uh, or natural sugar Okay, do you get it? All right, let's do this. I've been feeding on strawberries for the past how many days? Anyway, because the strawberries we got are quite big, I'm going to start off by chopping them. We like to see chunks of strawberries in our strawberry jam, but we don't want this, this bigger chunk. So we'll, we'll chop them into something like a quarter or uh, one-fifth. So there's really no hard and fast rule. You don't need any special shapes. Just chop it up, chop, chop, chop. You can do this or you can let your children do it. They like to chop things but give them a knife that's very blunt because you don't want an emergency on your hand okay children love to help out engage your children let them help out most times we spend a lot of time or a lot of, of our, our day in the office or at work or doing one thing or the other so when you get home you're tired or you're cooking you don't want your children watching telly or being separate from you again one way to get them in the kitchen is to get them doing something they love and children love to help out to be honest and then you can chat with them about their day you can sing song they chat about school just discuss while they're, they're doing the chores and it makes it fun they can be with you while you're cooking they can watch you and that's how they learn okay you see the raspberries they're not that big they're quite small if you see them relative to my finger they are really small so you don't really need to chop these all you need to do is take off the leaf or the stalk from it and it's ready to go and they're quite squishy 
So really no need to chop them because they will just almost dissolve when they get into the the pots. I, I'll let the jays do the rest. Okay, another important thing I'd like to talk about is the pots you use when you're making your jam. Because jam has sugar, it tends to burn or you know stick to the bottom of the pot. So you want to use a non-stick pot. You see, something like this. Uh, a non-stick pot but if you don't have a non-stick pot make sure you have a pot that has a heavy bottom a pot that doesn't burn easily I think that's the that's what I mean it will burn if you use a normal aluminium pot okay and the second thing you want to know about the pot is that you need to get a big pot depending on the size of the jam you're making if you're making a small jam then you don't need a massive pot obviously but in the initial stage when you start boiling the fruits it is going to tend to overflow so you need the fruits to be about a quarter of whatever pot you're using so that it doesn't over like if you're anything like me i hate to clean mess from my gas or my burner or my range so the um best thing is to do to do is to get a big pot so it doesn't overflow okay i'll show you when it starts how how much foam and bubble comes up in the beginning you can help the juices come out of the berries faster by mashing the fruits up with potato masher if you don't have a potato masher don't worry about it i always like to give you alternatives or make it easy you don't have to use the masher you can just use your spatula your normal spatula well you can see the juice is already coming out once the heat kicks in the fruit tends to soften and then the juices just come out really fast so yeah, you can just mash it a little bit. We still want the chunks of the fruits in our jam. There's a lot of juice. In just two minutes, look at. The raspberries, like I said, tend to mush <laughs> really fast. I didn't mash it up completely because I love some texture in my jam. So I like to see some chunks of fruit as well. Let it sit here for a few minutes and just bring it to a boil. Look at that, look at it. It is boiling vigorously. You can see the foam. You can see it rising up from the normal level it is. This is why I said you need a big pot because by now it will be overflowing into onto your gas um, burner if you didn't have, a, if I didn't have a big pot. So just stir it, stir it a little bit to help with the thickening process and then you leave it on here for perhaps another 10 minutes okay it's still boiling there are three ways to know that your jam has set usually people will use a candy thermometer to know the temperature it has to be like 200 and something degrees celsius but i don't i just eyeball it really you know when it's ready because the, the sound of the boiling is going to change the bubbles will begin to pop inside like you can see the bubbles just pop and you don't have a lot of foam also if you put a clean spoon inside and you bring it out it sticks to the back of the spoon see it does stick and the thicker you want it the more you leave it the longer you leave it and the more it sticks to the spoon a third way is to put a splodge of the jam on a cold plate and try to use your finger and make a road and if the road stays open that means the jam is ready so there are a lot of old women way <laughs> of finding out if the jam is ready you don't really need a, a candy thermometer. thermometer but if you have one yeah feel free to use it so here's my cold plate and i'll just put a little bit of the jam on it we're going to do the test and see if it's set or if it's um, ready to go okay so I'll use my finger and I'll just do that you can see the path is still open that means my my uh, strawberry jam is ready bringing you back to the jam you can see there's no more foam and it's been on here for just about 15 minutes so 
um, in 15 minutes my jam is ready how easy is that how easy is that to know what you're putting in your stomach to do it yourself no artificial preservative no artificial coloring if you seal it properly in a sterilized glass and put it in your fridge it's gonna last you for about a year but in my house it doesn't last that long honestly it lasts only a few months because it's so good but yeah do it yourself do it yourself it's so easy in the preparation took me five minutes and the making took me 15 minutes so in total just 20 minutes and you have beautiful homemade jam so there's the final product you can still see chunks of fruit i doubt my jays would like the chunks of fruit and it's they like their smooth almost um, syrupy so if you want that that kind of consistency you just chuck it the fruits in the blender and blend it first get the juice first before before you do the jam so i'm just going to put the jam in you need something like a funnel um to put it into the jar you make sure you sterilize your jar because you don't want your jam going bad or getting moldy in your fridge so sterilize your jar with hot water so I'm just using the spoon. I'm making a little bit of a mess here, but hey, the messiest cooks they say are the best cooks, eh? <laughs> oh, there you have it. My homemade jam. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to use it for my scones, my meringue, my pancake, my just name it, my ice cream for my desserts. I can use it for anything. Low sugar. No preservatives, no artificial coloring, nothing, just your fruits. So you try it, it's easy. Prep time, five minutes, cooking time, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you know what you're putting in your tummy and what your children are having. So tell me how you, you get on. Try. You can try with any berries you have, cranberries, you can try it with apples. I'll sh um, there, I'm going to um, um, show you a video of me doing apple jam. So you can do it with apples, you can do it with, if you can find grapes, you can do any mixture. You can do any mixture of fruits. You can do apple and strawberry you can do strawberries and gooseberries or strawberry and blueberries whatever you can find whatever is in season there is no rocket science with cooking you just make it up you just go with the flow you just do trial by error you make mistakes you learn this um, recipe I got three jars this size of jars from can you believe it so you just this will last you almost six months well if it's my family maybe one month because they love their their homemade jams all right till next time i'll see you so click the subscribe button okay click the notification button if you want to get notification when we post up keep living loving and laughing see you next time love you The taste of the pudding or the breakfast is in the eating. So let's try this. Mm. Oh my God. It has just taken my usual normal breakfast into another level. Seriously, like it's taking it from here to here. <laughs> so normally I just have Greek yogurt low fat greek yogurt plain yogurt it doesn't have any sugar nothing because it's um homemade as well but this strawberry jam just gives it that nice tartness and nice slight sweetness but not too much it's just it's just perfect you gotta try this try it let me know how you get on in the comment section and let me know any ideas you would like me to try what kind of jam is your favorite jam let me know what your favorite is, what combinations they are, and I can do it for you, all right? See you next time. Bye. First things first, <laughs> a mommy gem has the bottom her apron. I don't know who's been fiddling with my apron. These children, they've been using it when they want to do their painting. They come and get my apron. I don't know what to do with these children. I love them to be. These strawberries are so good. I don't know what I've been eating them like. Mmm, uh, so juicy. Pardon me for talking and eating.